long ago, a friend of mine sent me a link to a video showing how to put the paint in the grooves on an antique radio knob. The video he sent me showed using paint, spray paint made for uh, plastic, put on with a tiny brush, and then sanding the excess off. To put it bluntly, that's not the way it's done. So I decided to make a brief video to show how I can make the knob on the left look like the knob on the right. It's a very simple process and very few tools and supplies are required. These are the only tools I use. I have a small dental pick that I actually got from my dentist one day when I asked if he had any worn out tools that he's not using anymore. And then I use this lacquer stick fill-in paint. You can buy it direct from the manufacturer, as cheap as anywhere else that I know of. These are retailing at about a buck eighty-five a piece plus shipping. Uh, it comes in five colors. I have a gold one on the left here that I haven't used that shows what it looks like. The one on the right is white, which is the stick that I find I use the most. And then I've got a uh, fine bristle brush that I just kind of use to, to sweep along the edges to make sure the grooves are cleared out. So here you can see I've got the knob and I've got my little tool and I just go through the grooves. You don't have to get everything out, but you want to make sure you've got everything loose and the more you have cleaned out of each groove the more new paint that you can get in there so every groove needs to be cleaned properly every number needs to have all the old paint out of it you can probably make a tool yourself to do this but um, this thing I've got here works really well and you can see the paint just flakes right out. So you have to completely clean the knob, make sure everything is nice and clean, and then when you, once you've got it completely cleaned, I just take my brush and make sure everything's looking really good. I'll go ahead and finish this up and then we'll get started to put the paint on. As you can see, I've got the numbers pretty well cleared out doesn't have to be perfect. The better a job you do, the better your result will be, but a little bit of around the edges certainly isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, I've got my lacquer stick here, and I, I usually put the knob right at the edge of my workbench. It makes it a little easier to, to rub on, but you just take it and you rub this paint on it over the numbers, over the little grooves. Make sure you get them all filled in nice. It's really a simple process. The paint kind of liquefies a little bit as you start rubbing it. It's a very dry paint. You can see that it's, it's not going to get on your fingers. Let's go back around look, see if we got everything nice. So um, there we are, step number one. We've made a, a good looking mess. We haven't gotten any paint on our fingers. All the grooves are full. And the next thing we're gonna do is grab an old t-shirt and just rub off the excess. With this process, I try not to be too aggressive. And I always go cross grain. I don't go with the grooves, I go across the grooves. And you just start giving some gentle wipes get the majority of it off in the first pass you can already see they're starting to look nice and bright surplus paint comes right off and this paint doesn't stick to you it's not it's not a messy job This particular knob has got a little groove right here and I'm just going to run my fingernail around and catch that. So in just a matter of a few minutes, no muss, no fuss, cheap materials, 
no big deal. You can turn these old knobs into bright, clean displays. Looks great, easy to do, nothing to it. Okay, here we are with the finished product. If I can do it, you can do it.